Oh, man. We sure are clustered up together pretty tightly. I wish that we had an alchemist monkey nearby so that we could get super strong potion buffs so we can pop the balloons. Um, hey guys, it's the alchemist monkey here. Alchemist oh my gosh, monkey, the alchemist monkey! Please, give me the potion! 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 Alright, I've had it with all of you! Everyone telling me what to do and who to buff and I'm sick and tired of it, alright? I'm- I can't take it anymore! I need an upgrade! Um, hey man! Uh, yeah, what's up? Um, can I borrow your Dartland gunner? Um... You might you want to buy you want to borrow my the Dartland gun? Yeah, I can I borrow your Dartland gun? Um I mean normally I wouldn't I I'd say no cuz that's uh yeah, I don't want to give it up, but I mean you're an alchemist monkey, so you you're pretty cool. So yeah, you you can you can borrow it. Thanks, man. That's right, everyone. The Dartland gunner is officially Sick and tired of having to buff everybody by hand by throwing potions onto him And so today he's borrowing the Dartland gunner so that way he can have his own gun See that's the it's the alchemist gunner. He cost two thousand dollars. So that's actually uh, kind of expensive I just realized kind of very expensive. I kind of want to just put like attack shooter right there I feel like just literally just attack shooter right here is gonna be all we need do I want to upgrade the tech? I mean, eventually I probably, probably should upgrade this guy. I mean, I guess I could get more attacks, even more attacks. No, what? Balloons are already- wait, the balloons have to go by this twice? That's actually kind of crazy. Faster firing, even faster attack spare. All right, now- and then it has to go by it again. Okay, this is such a great tower to have here. Like, actually, the balloons have to go by that so many times. Okay, let's put Psy down. We can give- we can have Psy chill right here. And then Psy can start helping pop balloons as well. But this Dartland Gunner, or I'm sorry, the Alchemy Gunner, is a support tower that can throw potions using the Dartland Gunner's weapon. Which is awesome because now we can actually put uh, buffs on all of the monkeys. And since we fire so fast, it's actually just going to be a huge help. So we can kind of put them wherever we want. And I'm pretty sure that the potions actually go pretty much everywhere so i'm gonna try to save up money it is rather expensive at 2100 dollars. i like the picture of it he's literally he just like got a gun and he's just like yo i'm gonna i'm here to help you out okay <laughs> he's like yep that's me all right i need to save up i need there we go look at him so now he's just chilling here so look so now we can just buff all all of the towers wait so this is just popping balloons so i need acidic mixture so loads acidic mixture into the alchemy gun Look at this. This alchemy gun's actually so good. Look at this. We can just sit here and just like spawn camp the balloons. I really like the potions. Like the potions look so cool when they're being thrown out. All right. Acidic mixture. So that's the acidic mixture. So can I hit things with it? Yes, I can. So I can actually hit, hit other towers and buildings and just give them acidic mixture. How long does it last? It does not last very long at all. So you want to make sure that you basically constantly have it on. So berserker brew barrels. So forcibly buff your monkeys with Berserker Brew. <laughs> they don't have a choice in the option. That's that they, they're not allowed to have a choice in the option with this. They, they're gonna be buffed whether they like it or not. I love the red barrel. That actually looks so cool. I love this tower. This tower is so neat. All right, we just gotta keep saving up money. This brewmaster is kind of crazy. We already got 400 pops. I mean, I guess I. Oh wait, we gotta buff it up. There we go. I need to save up money. I need four thousand dollars so I can get Berserk. Berserker brew barrels. I love the picture of it. Look at how funny that looks <laughs> We're very close to getting the berserker brew And then of course I feel like having this like this right here just helps out tremendously I feel like I just want to sit here and spawn camp the balloons I feel like this is way better like look at how powerful this is and now we can actually get berserker brew So now we do sh uh, we throw the berserker brew so now we can actually apply berserker brew buffs to people And so like we can actually put berserker brew buffs Everywhere we want which is really really nice. I kind of want to put one like right here Maybe or maybe if we put one there we can have a dart monkey here or some kind of tower What's the next upgrade 5,000 for gunner stimulant and what is that so improved berserker brew, berserker brew to stronger stimulant which I could see that being very useful what goes really well with berserker brew maybe like a ninja I bet a ninja would be really really nice to have actually so if we put a ninja right here and then we get double shot and level that up then I can actually put this on and so now this ninja is also getting like perma brew stronger stimulant 
but also these potions are going past and hitting them as well. Because one of the problems that uh, brewmasters have is the effect wears off too fast, right? But if we constantly are throwing this effect on them, every single attack they have is going to basically have the effect on them. So, and that helps. And plus it allows these potions to do extra damage as well. What if we got another like stronger stimulant? Or another alchemist and then we put the alchemist like behind this so this alchemist was like hitting this alchemist making him attack faster for even more buffs I want to save up and get gunner stimulant because that just that seems like it's gonna be way stronger and now gunner stimulant he's got the two guns he's like yeah yeah now we have stronger stimulant which stronger stimulant is gonna be way stronger here so this is working out for us quite nicely actually we'll take that we have $2,000. I could save up and get Grandmaster Ninja, but I really don't think I need that right now. I need more towers that I can just, like, periodically buff. If I... So, if I... If he doesn't have this buff on him, look at... So, wait. Look at the range he gets. It, like, doubles his range almost. He gets so much more range. That's crazy. And then we can upgrade this to Overdrive as well, which just makes him attack crazy fast. Do you think this, this tower can, like, solo a Moab? I bet it could. Let's go ahead. I want to get a crossbow monkey. Let's upgrade lungs. Look at that. What the heck? There we go. Now we can just constantly use it. I love the fact that I can just like basically move my mouse over any tower I want. And now it's going to be like boosted. And now it's just way stronger. There we go. Round 40. So we have these two towers. Look at that. The Moab just instantly just gets destroyed. That's awesome. Let's see, what other tower do we want to have down? I could just put, like, another alchemist down and just have, like, a bunch of, like, alchemist gunners down, which would be really funny, honestly. I wonder if there's any towers. I bet the dartling gunner would work really well with this, too. Because normally the dartling gunner shoots so fast that it wears off. But if you have, if you're being hit by this many berserker brews so fast, like, literally you're being hit by one, like, every single second. Like, you're, it's not going to wear off. Like, literally, it'll never wear off as long as you're... And what you can also do is, like, I can just lock this in place right here. And that's going to just constantly hit both of them, right? So they're both going to always just have the effect on them. I could just get the Crossbow Master now if I wanted to. Like, that's how much money we have, I just realized. Like, what the heck? Let's sell this Ninja Monkey. And now... I want to get... Let's put some more towers over here. So we can put you down, and then I can get the destroyer, grape shot, hot shot. And then I just realized there is no... Can I put this right here? Wait, can I not put a village down? Oh, I can. There we go. All right. Is that in the range? It is, but we can also get jungle drums. There we go. Okay, let's uh, let's un normal, and now we can... There we go. Look at how powerful that this tower is. No, but this tower absorbs all of the um, the uh, the buffs, so I am actually not able to hit this poor dart this this tower over here. Wait, I can just get another one. What am I doing? I can literally just put one like here, and then I can do that. And then if I do that, then now both of them are getting the buffs, and so now we can just get more buffs on. Wait, can I have them buff each other? Look at that. Now they're look at how strong they are. <laughs> That's so silly, actually. I mean, I don't think we need anything else. If we have just this tax zone constantly buffing it, it it's, it's attack damage is going to be through the roof here. Like, we can just sell this. And we don't even need Psy. We can just sell this. All we have is the tax zone. But there's no way anything's going to get past the tax zone, right? Especially with it constantly being buffed. Because normally the problem with the tax zone is, the, like, look at how fast it runs out of the buff. Like, it just wears off. But if we're constantly just, like, spamming it, there's no way that it can run away. Or, like, the, the buff's gonna go away. It just annihilates everything, and that's what makes it so strong. Okay, let's get... Wait, wait, I want to get an actual Dartland Gunner. And then I can just go ahead and get the uh, Plasma Accelerator. Lock it in place right there. And then... Wait. No, look... There's an umbrella there. So, wait, can you put things on the, um, on top? You cannot put things on top of the umbrella. That's fine. We can go ahead. I'm going to get another one of these, these Dartling Gunners. I can actually sell that tower and then I can get this Gunner Stimulant. There we go. And so now we have this Gunner. This Plasma Accelerator is crazy strong, especially when it's getting more buffs on it, right? So now look at that. It just one shot. The Plasma Accelerator is kind of an overpowered tower, I think. For only $12,000, it kind of acts like a T5 sometimes. 
Now, don't get me wrong. The Ray of Doom is way stronger. But this tower, like, it's got 16,000 pops. And I really didn't put that much money into it. And it just, like, can solo, like, around 60? Like, no balloons are even getting close to getting by. Oh, except purple balloons. Purple balloons do make that a little bit awkward. Just a little bit. That is not ideal. Exactly. I wonder, do you think we could win using just these? They get, like, zero pops. They get such a small amount of pops. It's still, it's still definitely possible. But, man, would that be difficult. I mean, look at how fast it shoots. Focus firing. I mean, we could just get, like, the laser cannon. Wait, no. What if we get hydro rockets? I Now I really want hydro rockets. Let's get faster barrel spin. Focus firing hydro rocket pods. There we go. Lock it in place. There we go. The hydro rocket pods are really strong. It's probably not as strong as the plasma plasma accelerator, but I guess this is the only the T3. The T4 is the, the rocket storm, and rocket storm is pretty strong. Rocket Storm is, in fact, quite powerful. I mean, I could put, like, I want to put this Super Monkey right here. And then I want to get Super Range. Let's go ahead and get a Robo Monkey, our Tech Terror. Then we can get Laser Blasts as well. And then I have to get another one of these towers. We, and then we can just go ahead and then lock it in place. We definitely need to get a little bit more money. Here, we can sell that tower. We don't need that tower. We can sell that. And now I can get a stronger stimulant. There we go. Wait, it's log in place there. There we go. And so they're constantly being hit by that. We need to be able to see camo balloons. That's, that is so sad. We can't see camo balloons. Now we can. Oh my gosh. This tech terror is attacking so fast. And especially with a crit. Look at how fast he runs out of the, like, the stimulant. He's getting hit, but, like, it's constantly changing. That is crazy. That's why permabrew is so expensive. Because if you can always have a buff on someone... Like, as soon as he starts shooting, the buff just goes out the window because he literally uses it up instantly, it feels like. I want to know what something that could be very interesting is the, this monkey, the Tech Terra crits, right? So the question is, let's say the crit is two times damage. I actually don't know how much damage the crit is, but let's just say, for the sake of the argument, it's two times damage now. Let's say his base damage is like 5 damage, okay? So let's just say if he gets a crit, that's now 10 damage. The question is, if you have Alchemist buff on it, okay? And so let's say the, the buff gives it a plus 3 damage, okay? So his base damage now goes from 5 to, well, it goes to 8, right? 6, 7, 8. And so now, if he gets a crit, is it going to do 13 damage? Or is it going to do 16 damage, right? Is it, and so what I'm saying is, the, does the crit also multiply the buff damage on top of it? Because that is kind of important to know, right? Because that is a difference between 3 damage per hit. Now, I don't know what the actual damage values of this tower is. Because Ninja Kiwi does a pretty good job of not telling you exact uh, specifics of a tower. Which, by the way, I was on Reddit the other day for the balloon subreddit, and I saw someone who made some pretty good, uh, pretty good suggestion. The first suggestion is there should be a button, like, here that changes the upgrade path. And instead of telling you, like, the funny upgrades, it just tells you the exact upgrade, like, upgrades attack speed by 15%. Right? And I go, that would be really nice. Like, I would love to know that. Or, like, the specifics of it, you know? Okay, this, this Dartlin, the alchemy gunner, is really funny. It keeps cracking me up. It's just too good. It's too good. Can we, wait, can we get the, the anti-balloon gunner? Is that possible? I want the anti-balloon gunner. Yes. We can get the anti-balloon gunner. Yes! We got the anti-balloon gunner by round 80. And then that Zo MG just goes, bye-bye. And that's where we're going to end off this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. Thank you so much for watching today's video. You're awesome. Remember, you're beautiful. Drink some water because water is always good for you. And I'll see you all tomorrow for some more awesome content. Bye, everyone.